hi beauties hi cuties greetings and welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing perfectly fine and first of all guys thank you for always turning in for me thank you for your amazing support thank you for always sharing my video may the good lord bless you or protect you and may your secret prayer be answered in jesus name amen so first of all guys before we go into this amazing information about fair and white products if you are new on this channel you haven't subscribed please consider the red subscription subscribe and turn on the notification bell this way you can get notified anytime there is a new upload for me okay so first of all guys before i analyze before i tell you guys my own experience when i was using fair and white products how nice or how i won't say how about how nice let me just put it that way it was when i was using it because everybody's skin your skin and my skin is not the same everybody with is so a whole skin type okay so what you need to know if you are using any products you have to go for your skin type if you have a dry skin dark skin oily skin depends on the skin you know you are you have you can just go for it there is product for dry skin there is product for oily skin there is product for dull skin so try as much as possible to know your skin type before you go into any products you want to use on your skin okay so before we i talked about my own opinion i read a comment with someone amazing soul from my channel dropped on my one of my videos she was like i've used fair and white i don't know so let me just read it for you guys to see this is it guys this is the comment and i will just go ahead and read it that for you guys to hear it for your own self okay it's a fair and white gives white patches without fake and it's not fake no let me start again guys let me start again i said it said fair and white give white patches without fake and it is not fake i know good number of people who use it and have same white patches okay i was like sorry about that it might be the fake one okay and this amazing soul replied me again it's not it's not fake sis it does it does it does give white patches so guys if you are if you have used fair and white product before i don't actually know the fair and white product she's actually talking about but for me i've used fair and white so white pink i've used fair and white so uh, fair and white gold two gold three and i've also used fair and white brightling pink and lightly uh pink so know this fair and white uh, fair and white so white is of two types like i said before if you have watched if you haven't watched the video i've been posting right from the very type right from the very start please go and watch it fair and white there is one for brightling and there is one for lightling okay probably if you want to lighten up your skin you bought the one for lightling there is no way it's gonna light because a lot of people have been saying ah this particular one is not lighting me are you sure that that is when i make a review about it then are you sure this is the product you are using this is what you need to know if you are using the brightly one there is no way the brightly one is going to give you lightening skin it will only help to your skin brighten up your skin okay but if you are using the lightly one and you go for the full set you would definitely it will definitely lighten up your skin okay that is why the brightly one is good for black skin chocolate skin caramel skin you can use it there is no problem so there is two types one for lightly and one for brightly so actually i don't know the one she's trying to say but for me i think i've used the pink one and i've used the gold one so the pink one is actually nice what motivated me to that amazing product then was because of the scent i love the scent i love the way it moisturizes my skin but if you are using only the cream it's not going to lighten up your skin it will only help maintain your skin but if you want to lighten up your skin so that people will start saying ah your skin is looking more lighter than the, by the day go for a full set there is one for serum there is serum there is uh the gel, there is the cream, which is the tube. If you want to go for the gel, go for the gel. If you want to go for the tube, go for the tube. But I will advise you, if you know that your skin is very, very sensitive, don't use anything like uh, uh, the gel tube. The gel tube, might, you might end up whitening up your skin if your skin is very, very light, just like mine. 
so then i normally use the tube cream okay so if you are experiencing any white patches dark patches skin discoloration please please, please just sit in the comment section make sure let others people know the kind of fair and white products you have used before because like i said before there are different kinds of fair and white products probably if any fair and white product is giving you white patches just sit down think about it did you miss it with any other product or are you sure you are using the right fair and white product you are not using the fake one you didn't uh you didn't get yourself the fake one Think about it. if you want to buy fair and white products, make sure you go for any uh, cosmetic shop that you trust, that you know they are selling nice products. Go for it. And number two, if any cream is giving you patches, if any cream is giving you patches, probably it might not be that that cream is fake. Probably your skin is not suitable for that product. Your skin is not suitable for that product. Just like me, if I'm using any product, the first thing I observe is having something like ringworm. It's not a ringworm. Let me just put it like white, uh, dark patches. First, it will come out like uh, like uh, like rashes, and it will start spreading. It will start spreading. That is how I. That is how I notice that this product is not suitable for my skin. I just have to stop immediately. So, if you are using any fair and white products. Fair and white product is very, very good. So the reason why I stop it then is because, you know me, I'm that kind of person that love using pro that love using cream morning, afternoon, evening. It depends if the weather is okay, okay? But if the weather is not nice, I just prefer to use it once in a day or twice in a day. So that product, I was kind of, I can't be spent like close to 60 euro, 70 euro for the full product every month. So I just had to switch to Nive. That was how I show you guys how to miss my Nive. So I've been using it and it's actually nice on my skin. So please, if you know that fair and white, so white, a fair and white product is giving you white patches. I'm just saying this because of the comments I read. If you know that fair and white, so white is giving you patches, please. First of all, check if you are not using the same product, maybe probably the soap, the, uh, the shower gel. Check if you are using any other shower gel along with it. Check if you are using any other product along with the fair and white. Okay? If you are using other product along with it, just know that probably that product is the thing. It may be the, the, the thing they used to do the fair and white and the other uh, ingredients they used to do the body wash doesn't rhyme together or doesn't combine together so that is the reason why you are having that problem on your skin so that is why i normally advise people if you want to use any product if you know that product for instance if you want to use any product if you know that product is fair and white product and you know it has a body wash but a face cream everything try your possible best to get the full set this way you will know if the cream is actually good on your skin if it's the one causing you dark uh dark patches or white patches you would definitely know then you would know what to do if you have to stop or to lay complaint you can actually go to their website go to where you bought the cream show them your skin tell them ah this cream is is not real it's not look at what is causing on my skin they would definitely refund your money because there was a time i bought a face cream man where i normally get my things from and that face cream was kind of giving me what i don't i don't understand i'll be using that same face cream i have to return it back to them then i don't understand so they gave me my money that is just it guys so please if you are using any product being fair and white any product if you are starting that product just try to go for the full set try to go for the full set don't use other product like body body uh, wash while using uh, fair and white or don't mix your fair and white with other products like tube other tube fair and white add, it has its own tube go for it mix everything together don't use other product to mix it if you don't want to end up having grieving uh, uh, white patches and other things for my for my own experience guys if i'm too <laughs> i don't know if i'm too if i'm if i'm too fast by the way i'm talking i'm sorry okay my own experience when i was using fair and white it was actually good on my skin then i don't have dark no ghost now i don't have dark no ghost. that is because i know when and how when to stop if i'm using any products i know when to stop if i feel like ah, this product is too harsh on my skin you understand so when i was using fair and white it was actually good even one of my friends there was now nah, your skin is good why do you stop using it but 
I just have to stop because there are some times when probably the cream is expensive. They are just, I don't know what to do. Probably there are some times you get a fake one. There are some times. So to me, it was expensive one. And number two, I probably got the fake one. Same thing you are complaining about. I got the fake one and I was having this white uh, rashes on my skin. By the time it comes, it comes out just a little. By the time I maybe one to two weeks, you will see it start spreading. So that was when that was the reason why I saw fair and white. Probably I bought the fake one then. So because of that, I just decided to quit fair and white products. So please, there are still real and original fair and white. If you want to go for it, make sure you know that you are getting yourself the real original fair and white product. Okay, so please. Make sure you go for the full set to know if that fair white is actually what is giving you white patches or dark patches. Go for the full set. Be using it so that you will know where, where the problem is coming from. So if you are using other products along with it, so you don't you won't know which one is giving you the white patches, which one is not suitable for your skin. So that is just it, guys. Please, please, please. If you have any question and probably you have experienced the same thing, just like what she wrote, please don't feel free to state your opinion let us know what what let us know your experience when you be using fair and white products guys so thank you for your amazing time and i love you all please stay safe and thank you for always supporting me god bless you ciao, ciao. Mm -hmm.